what is it that you'd need? If you're just starting out as a brand new wholesaler, you'd need a wholesaling LLC, specific type of LLC with key language to protect you from being a dealer. And if you're doing more than wholesaling, maybe you're doing some flipping as well. Well, then we have a separate LLC for flipping because we have different types of liabilities in each one of these LLCs. And then if you're, you know, uh, buying rental properties as well, but also flipping and wholesaling others that you don't want uh, to keep, well, we have a rental property LLC. Now, here, the income is very different because we have earned income, active income from wholesaling and flipping, which is taxed a certain way. We have passive income from rental properties, which is which is even more tax advantaged. So we once again can choose how these LLCs are taxed. The wholesaling and flipping LLCs are taxed a certain way and the rental property LLC is taxed a different way. Quick so, question on that, Bob. Is yeah. it still done like an S corporation with even with passive income or is it paid to do it to take it a different way? Well, which which entity are we talking about? For the I'm sorry, for the rental, for the rental LLC since it's passive uh, income. No, we would never use an S corp uh, okay. designation for a rental property. Uh, that that would really uh, it, it really harm your your tax benefits. increase your taxes more yeah or less. it would increase tax. your taxes yeah. yeah not decrease your taxes so right. we would not use an S corp for the rental property uh, LLC right, right. you're only going to use it for the wholesaling and a flipping as a yeah. general rule yes uh, but but once again we customize that as well yeah, yeah. sometimes yeah. we may want a C uh, C corporation designation depending. Uh, yeah. on what people need. Now, those are some very simple structures, of course, and uh, we may just set up one LLC for you or two, but sometimes people come to us and they've been investing for quite some time and they need a more complex structure, in which case we, we have created many, many complex structures where we're able to dramatically reduce taxes and dramatically protect you from liability. This is rock solid asset protection when we have these entities set up this way. Uh, one woman said, my husband and I have three of your lawsuit protection entities. We took them to our attorney and he said they were bulletproof. So that is the kind of LLC we set up, not the cookie cutter kind of LLC mm -hmm. that everybody gets. Um, right. So we design a protective structure. We consult with you. Uh, we listen to what kind of business you have, and then we create that uh, bulletproof type of entity. Or sometimes people have a, an LLC that they say, you know, I've got uh, maybe some credit in this. Uh, I've, I've developed. I just, I don't want to get rid of it. I want to fix it. And we'll fix those existing LLCs. In other words, sometimes repurpose them or change or amend what is wrong with the LLC. And we'll do that as well for you uh, mm -hmm. if need be. Um, we also assist with uh, all the next steps, uh, which is the red tape and all the things that people hate. Once you get an LLC, you got to get an EIN. We'll help you with that. You may need a business license under certain circumstances. You're definitely going to have to register with the tax uh, department in your particular state. Uh, you may need a registered agent, depending on what you're doing and where you're doing it. Uh, you're definitely going to need a business bank account. Uh, we, we give you guidance on what banks to use, which ones not to use, or what types to use. Um, we uh, counsel you on t IRS tax elections, S Corp, C Corp, sole proprietorship, partnership. And if your particular state requires a publication requirement, we'll let you know what those are. And this is invaluable because this is where people really get stuck. But we've done this for so long, we know exactly what each one of the states requires.